Continuing coverage now on day nine of the search for Elijah Vu. Following yesterday's emotional press conference that included family members of the missing Two Rivers three-year-old. We are looking today at where the case is now heading. Balance News and severe weather coverage. This is Fox 11 News at 5. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us tonight at 5. The goal of bringing three-year-old Elijah Vu back home safely continues now into its second week of yeah. searching. Yeah, the little boy's family sending volunteer searchers out again as local, state, and federal authorities continue to work the case. Fox 11's Emily Matesic has spent the day in Manitowoc County. She joins us live from Two Rivers this evening. And Emily, did you talk to any searchers today? Yeah, Mark and Michelle, we didn't speak um, well, with any searchers directly today. They were out. Uh, the law enforcement investigating this, as well as the Vu family, choosing not to speak today, instead spending all of their efforts on finding that little boy. From the quick trip in two rivers to businesses in Manitowoc, it's hard to go anywhere in Manitowoc County and not see Elijah Vu's face on a missing person poster. His family, after Tuesday night's news conference, deciding not to take a day off from organizing search parties, continuing to dispatch volunteers from the Mikado Theater in Manitowoc. If you have any information, please come forward. We believe that with the, the help of the community, we can bring Elijah back home together. Volunteers once again tackling several areas in Manitowoc County, searching for Elijah Vu. Meanwhile, we found law enforcement from Fond du Lac and Trempolo counties working out of the Shoto Town Hall as part of the investigation. As we've reported, the Two Rivers Police Department, the agency leading the investigation, is being assisted by local, state, and federal agencies, along with private businesses and organizations. We've reached out to hundreds and hundreds of resources over this week's time span, and they're all dedicated to bringing him home, and we'll continue to follow up on any leads to do so. Law enforcement still asking for the public's help to put together a timeline of when Elijah Vu was last seen. When was the last time someone other than Jesse Bang saw Elijah? I appreciate that question. What I will say is um, the reason that we've been seeking out to the public to request all the information that we are is because we are following up on every lead, tip, etc. And that is one of those things. You know, we want to know every time, any time, that Elijah was seen during this past week. So we will continue to follow up on all leads, any leads, and that's what's leading us into the locations that we've been. And I did hear back from the FBI today telling me that they are very much still involved in this investigation, asking me to remind people about that $15,000 reward that they're offering offering for information about Elijah Vu's whereabouts or about the arrest or prosecution of those responsible for his disappearance. Live in Two Rivers, Emily Matesic, Fox 11 News. All right, thank you, Emily. Elijah was reported, as uh, we said, last seen, as an, by, last seen by an adult caregiver at 8 o'clock in the morning of February 20th. He was in the 3900 block of Mishicot Road. Elijah has dark blonde hair, brown eyes. You see the picture right there. He weighs about 45 pounds is three feet tall and does have a birthmark on his left knee. Police continue to remind the public that uh, no tip or bit of information is too small. Anyone who may have seen Elijah or know where he is is urged to call the number on your screen. That number is 844-267-6648.